the hell? Scarlet, why are you so much older now? I think the spell of war and war off. Is this the better side you were talking about? Correct. And I'd like it if you two could accompany me on a little trip. Maybe. If you tell us who you are and why. <laughs> of course. My name is Subaki. I'm afraid there is no time to explain. There's a plane to Denbosh we need to catch in five minutes. Wait, wait, wait. In five minutes? But how can we even know to trust you? Well, I didn't kill you two yet despite being knocked out before, right? Now let's go. What is even happening? Why are we going and why? Well, for now, we need to head into my sodas. I can feel a disturbance. Where now? Here we are. What? Where did these humans come from? <clears throat> Turn back now or you're going to regret it! I have no idea what's going on. But if we need to fight, then so be it. By the might of my thunder, I will keep this tower safe from the likes of you. No. I can't give up. Uh, Alright. Now for the final blow. Stop! Huh? There's no need to kill her. She's already knocked out. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Guess I got a little too used to dealing with threats this way. <sighs> Anyways, what is this place? This is my Sodas, and we're in Isis Continent. It's the same as the one from your book. Wait, if you can transport us to this place, why did we take a nine hour flight? This world exists parallel to Earth. If I had transported us here immediately, we'd still have needed to travel the way here. And there's no convenient planes or cars in this world. For now, let's keep going. I'm sure there will be more in our way. So, Sabaki, why are we going on this journey? I woke up on Earth with no memory, and after some time I realized I could cross over into this place. Despite that, I never found any hints as to who I am, or I used to be. I'll explain more later. There's someone else coming. Oh, you're saying my presence is so radiant you could sense me? I'm flattered. <laughs> I'll take you on. You're no match for me and my puppets. Maybe. But will you be a match for my little coochie? <gasps> Prepare yourself. There's something big approaching. I think you're gonna need backup on this one. Got her cornered. Take that thing down, Naru. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. Looks like it's time for me to exit the scene. What the? Hey, you coward. <sighs> well, at least it's like you said. As long as they're no longer a threat, we don't need to keep fighting. <sighs> Let's just keep going. So, Sabaki. You said you would continue as to why we're here? Ah, right. When I went to find you, I found another disturbance right here. I can't really describe it, but my intuition tells me I can find something about myself here. Oh, I can see someone by the gates. Then <laughs> let's go introduce ourselves, shall we? Halt! 
Intruders? You have no business here. How did you get past Garni? She ran away after we dealt with her pet. <sighs> Damn it, Garni. Well, at least that means my brat of a sister is still alive. Still. Don't expect to see the same cowardice or mercy from me. She'll not take our Lord Ice's blood. Ice's blood? Is that why everyone has been so hostile? Young man, I don't believe we're here for something as crude as a man's... blood. We're merely here looking for answers. We don't need to fight. <laughs> don't think for a second you could fool me. Go back to the shadow. The Ice Lord will not avail you foul humans. You shall not pass! How could this be? I can't sell my lord! Just give up. We told you. We're not here for some guy's blood. You try to deceive me even at this point? You selfish bastards think of one thing only. To attain immortality and power through the blood of our late lords. That's a thing? Over the past hundreds of years, ever since that hero cut down our gods and goddess, humans have thrown themselves at our castle to try to become gods themselves. Never has a human come here without that objective. So don't think you can pull the wool over my eyes. I will stop you. If it's the last thing I... He should be out cold for the next few hours at least. Hey Naru, do you also get the feeling that Sabaki is kind of shaken up by what this guy was saying? Yeah, we should be on our guard. Maybe she's trying to become a god. So, Sparky, where does that intuition point you now? It seems like it's below us somehow. We should look for a way down. Got it. Look! There's a staircase here leading down. Well done. Let's go. Wait, Sparky. It's pretty clear that the mention of Ice's blood shook you up pretty badly. If you're here to selfishly become a god, then I won't help you. I see. I understand your suspicion. Don't worry, it's not the blood that took me off guard, but Ice himself. And that name seems to stir something with me. You must have some connection to my past. My intuition wouldn't point me here otherwise. Hmm. That does sound reasonable enough. For now at least. Right. Let's keep moving before more of them find us. One more move and I will take this kitty's fur! Attacking a young girl from behind like this... <laughs> Such nerve. I do hope you're alright, young lady. You? Chaos? Guessing your previous excursion going through all of us didn't get you the answers you were looking for. If you're here in Isis Castle, that is. Either you're here to become an immortal god, or here to look for clues on Kalel. My lady? You girls know this one? When I was in Myosotis before, I was trying to find the truth on something. He was just one of the people standing in my way. But he got saved before Scarlet and I could finish him off. I see. Well, I hope there isn't any more bad blood between you two and we can go on our way. I can assure you, sir, that we are not here to gain immortality from ice. We're looking for answers as well, though trying not to kill people this time. <laughs> I'll help.
So what are you doing here? Same as you, I was looking for answers. Huh? Are you serious? I do not lie. In that legendary battle arena of old, my own creator, Lord Rees, disappeared as well. Since then, I've wandered the continents, half looking for answers, half enjoying my time and experiencing the world. When I met you last time, I was hoping to beat some answers out of you as well. Seems like neither of us had answers though. Huh, <laughs> so it seems. If you're unsure of me, I don't have any ill intentions for your crew, since we have the same goal and intentions. After waking up, I felt something drawing me here, and so here I am. So, same as Tsubaki then? Tsubaki, huh? Interesting. What do you mean? Stop right there, criminal scum! You won't make a single step further! Me and my six subs will be sure to take you down! when he can block and counter at the same time. Not fair. I have a solution for that. Gah! What kind of coward would hide behind a power like this? What kind of idiot wouldn't? Cut Baki, you can finish him off now, yes? But of course. <laughs> that should keep him away from us for a while. Let's go. We're getting close. I can feel it. Seems we've reached the bottom of the staircase. It seems that we need to go deeper. Maybe there's another staircase behind that door. I don't know about that, but there's something else that I can't let you get to. Who's there? Who? You say you don't know me? I'm a star across the continent. The Nikul, the luminescent dancer. What the who now? Ugh. Well, cultural barbarism aside, this dashing star is here to keep you away from my lord resting behind this door. Hmm. If Tsubaki wants to go deeper, then I guess she really wasn't looking for Isis' blood. Enough! We're wasting time on this douche. Shadows, attack! Shades as fast as your mind? Seems my legs are faster. Tell me you're all worn out when you're not even the one moving, poor thing. God, I hate this guy. Ugh. Don't blame me for your shortcomings, darling. Damn it, bastard. I... Naru! You know, for people who made it this far, I had higher expectations. <laughs> so, you bastard. Wait. What the hell? Why can't I move? You'll be dancing for me now. Oh my. Well, either way, my magic won't miss you now. Take this, you pompous punk. Oh. -ho. Seems you didn't have much of a defense beyond evading. Still, I didn't know you could also control people, Scarlet. I don't like doing it. Costs a lot of energy and feels pretty wrong. But if it means I can shut him up, it's worth it. Now let's get through this door. Whoa! I'm guessing the guy depicted on that ice is eyes? Correct. His body must be somewhere here as well. Well, here comes the next one. Please leave. 
I will never give up my master. Hmm, she sounds like she could be reasoned with. Don't worry, miss. We're not here for your master. We're trying to go further down. Is there a staircase of sorts nearby? Hmm, there are indeed pathways under the castle. If you weren't here for my master, then you're free to go down into them. Thank you kindly. Can I ask why you guys keep this corpse here? I feel like it'd be better to move it or bury it, so you guys don't get so many humans attacking this place. I suppose that's true, but our master isn't dead yet. There's still a spark of life inside him, so we keep him here while we research a way to bring him back. So you've kept him alive in a coma for hundreds of years, and you still haven't found a cure or anything? No, but I'm sure we will someday. I wouldn't know what to do without him. You say that, but I'm sure you guys are selfishly keeping him alive. Why won't you let his soul rest already? What? How dare you even suggest such a thing? You won't put him to rest. Then I will. Just stay down already. I've already beaten you up. Scarlet, what are you doing? Why are you getting so fired up about this? It's not okay. They know he's barely hanging on. He's been suffering all this time, and what for? Because selfish underlings like her can't let them go. Ice is a god. He's not even supposed to die. And you're not affected by the guilt of keeping him clinging to life like this? If you actually care about him, why won't you ease his suffering already and let go? He's already been gone for ages and the world didn't collapse. Plus, what if one of your buddies dies trying to keep the greedy humans away? How is this worth it? Just shut up! Why are you being so mean about this? Stop it already! Then he must be here. Aha! Keep running. We have to get to the exit. Nice going, Scarlet. Now we can't get down there. Leave it, Chaos. I'm sure she had her reasoning. First we need to survive. God, that poor girl. To think she's down there clinging to her master rather than saving herself. Anyways, look! There's the exit! Naru! You two get away from the staircase. I'll grab her. Chaos! Catch! Come on me! We need to get out. We can't linger. Help me carry Naru. Don't you give me a moment? No, I cannot. The entire building is collapsing. You can fight me on this when we're outside. Hmm. Fine, let's go. So, I'm Kamaria. But how? 
I'm not even that strong. How could I possibly be the creator goddess? Well, your power level did take quite the hit when you were banished. Banished? Is that what happened at the end of that old tale? Yes. That a human managed to overpower you, but couldn't finish you off. Instead, what was left of you crossed a boundary between Myosotis and Earth, losing your memories in the process. I imagine you want those memories back, don't you? And perhaps some of that power. I might... If you can beat me in a fight. And if I don't beat you? You'll die by my hand. Very well then. By the time Naru came to, the Great Tower of Isis Castle was gone. All that remained was the rubble. Once Naru got up, the three went to see if there was a way they could go down and look for Spaki, but couldn't find one. Any and all staircases were gone, and the cliffs were too steep to use. Scarlet had broken into tears at this point and apologized for going berserk. At this point, there was nothing to do about it, and Naru comforted the panicked girl. She'd need to live with the guilt either way. Naru also realized that the whole we need to stop killing these guys had been in vain. Lesser gods might be sturdy, but since they were already badly wounded, their chance at surviving such a collapse was slim to say the least. It made Naru laugh at the irony. The three of them decided to leave the area and head towards Chaos's home, Reese's continent, though unbeknownst to them, using the old passages deep underground. Someone else had the same idea.